Hey, what's up? It's Chronic Filming. Today I have a skin review. Um, AutoSkin sent me two for my iPod Touch a second generation that I have right here. And right now I have the... Whoa, sorry about that. Right now I have the Zebra one on. It looks really, really nice, as you can see. And this one here, I didn't open yet. I'm going to put this one on once this one starts, like, peeling off or something. I know that's not going to be for a while. So, the packaging comes with this little slits here. You just tear it and it gives you a nice, even cut. And the skins come with um, the actual skin, front and back. And some complimentary stickers. Temporary non response to, I don't know. <laughs> so each of them has like auto skins. See that? Pretty cool. Check out their website, autoskins.com. That will be in the uh, video description. And yeah, really nice packaging. So let's put these to the side and get into the actual review. So I've had this on my iPod for a couple days now looks really cool and really this is the easiest um, skin to install like I had no trouble whatsoever uh, I had a little bit trouble with the front because they didn't make it big enough so it could like fit the whole thing as you can see down here you can still see the mirrored screen protector and around and they have a cutout for the light sensor and you can see the screen protector there, right? So they didn't make it big enough, but that's okay. It still looks really cool. And the screen protector will just cover the rest of that. Then the home button here is nicely cut out. And then I put that sticker on there, that piece on the home button to protect it. And, you know, this skin is... It doesn't wrap around your whole iPod, like you can see the, the chrome there, and all around. So, yeah, it's not scratching, I don't see, well, sorry, I don't see any scratches on it. It looks really nice. I would really recommend these skins. Go check them out. They have tons of other designs. If this is too girly for you, go check out the rest. Um... What else? So, I would recommend using this with a case. Maybe a see-through case. You know, you could kind of see through this one here. Let me show you. That's backwards. <laughs> Fail. Alright. So, I was going to get a, like, $5 clear case from eBay to show you guys. But I never did. So, you could see that. With a clear case, it would probably look a lot better if you want to protect the sides and because you know obviously no drop protection there just scuff protection from the back and you know scratches all that stuff dirt and the whole front is covered and I did mess up on the back a little bit because it goes on the volume rocker a little bit but you can still access it see there so I should have move the skin a little to the left more but it still works so that's all that matters and the top works too so I really recommend getting these skins if you don't want a hard time installing you know if you get matte really easily like me um, and you don't want to mess up your skin just do this I on the back I would have to take it off and redo it again all I did was line up that little half circle with the headphone jack and then just place it down and there you go get no bubbles make sure you clean your iPod and make sure there's no dirt and it'll look really cool alright so that's it go check them out please thank you auto skins and if you want a shout out message me cuz I didn't give one today because nobody else wanted one so message me I won't be I'll be glad to give you one and get in on my shades cases giveaway because I think that ends tomorrow yeah, I'll end it tomorrow. Alright, so get in on that.
Peace.